Hey, Nick here. Uh, got something very cool today. <clears throat> Literally just came in the mail and I opened it and uh, got super hyped. Uh, definitely not worth the money, but here we go. I got two boxes of Academy of Divas to open. I actually have a few more, but just gonna save those for another time. Want to savor it a bit because uh, they're not cheap <clears throat> and you know. You're better off just buying the SPs as singles. But this was such a fun set. I I cracked a lot of these myself. And uh, unfortunately, I was not able to get any SPs. Well, actually, I take it back. I pulled maybe like two SPs. I got the uh, uh, Liddy SP and then the Crit Trigger for uh, Loris. So... This was such a big set, though, for Bermuda. Uh, the power was really good. Got some uh, really cool cards. Uh, the way it was set up... <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, there's 12 SPs and an alternate art. So this was... Def 8 of the 12 is alternate, as you can see there. Same name, same abilities. Um, 1 GR, 4 triples, 7 doubles... 12 rares, and 16 commons. And then, of course, it still follows the black-white rule, so there's a black version, white version on some of the cards. Um, these were made in Singapore. Nothing different about that. But on the cover, you have Olivia. Uh, this was definitely one of the most expensive cards in the game for the longest time. And, uh, well, not for the game, but for Bermuda, for sure. And... Everyone wanted Olivia. Olivia SP. That art is fantastic. Uh, Shizuku art is also fantastic. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Olivia or Shizuku. Uh, Loris is also really good. She was introduced in this set. And uh, let's just go ahead. Let's just start cracking the, at these. And see if we get anything good. Uh, did you guys get any of this set? When you guys played Vanguard? This is... Definitely uh, a very fun set to get in. Uh, pretty much during the Vanguard G format, you would build a deck uh, out of the G cards and throw your old stuff, unfortunately. That's just how uh, it kind of set itself up. But what is this? Ooh, this is kind of cool. This is the 2015 schedule for the uh, Vanguard uh, tournament. Actually, I played there. I went to the California Pomona uh, Regionals. If you guys went, make sure you throw that in the comment. Tell me uh, what regionals you went to. If you guys went to the Pomona one, uh, do you guys remember the uh, cheese sticks? Throw that out there. You guys know what I mean if you guys were there. Uh, I think this came with 15 packs. Oh, 12 packs. Is it 12 packs a box? Uh, where does it say that? Yeah, 12 packs a box. Okay. So, not 15, not 10, but 12 packs. Okay. Uh, Let's just look at it. Look at this, the wrapper. You got Olivia here. Uh, you got the card specs in the back. Made in Singapore. Rip tab holes for the shelf if you're a store. And it's a little poofy. Packs are a little bit poofy, so I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's a little thick. But hopefully we get something good. Uh, also, if I remember correctly, you get like all oh god, this all the rares come foil too in this set. So let's see here. What did what do we get? Uh, so we got a Harmony card, and also this is where Harmony was introduced to. Harmony was uh, introduced in this set. This is just your 12k beater, uh, but the drawback is you gotta be in Harmony, which is not too hard to do. Uh, we got a one round fight Hinata. It, and this unit is attacked, it gets 5k. So it's kind of neat. It's one of those. They were trying to they were trying to experiment with that the whole eleven k grade one defensive because back in the day people just rushed you. Got 
Victory Appeal Philly. It's another Harmony card. Uh, da, da, it's an auto. When this unit becomes in Harmony, pay the cost if you do draw a card. Uh, not bad. Then I just realized it's a grade 2, so not that good. I'm kind of used to standard power, so when I looked at the 8K, I thought it was a grade 1. But it is a grade 2. Little Princess Himari. Another Harmony card. Love of Hearts, Manoa, Heal Trigger. We got Prism Promise Princess Celtic as our rare. And we got a Triple R out of our first pack. We got Prism Promise Princess Labrador. So, this card was actually pretty good too when this came out. Um, but, I don't know. We'll put that here. So, I don't know uh, when this video is going to be out, but uh, this morning they did reveal the Premium Collection 2020 Bermuda Stride. Uh, not a big fan, unfortunately. It's, uh, I, I kind of wanted a generic stride, but I also wanted it to fit a certain role, but it was uh, for Highlander, so that was kind of lame, but... Then again, Highlander doesn't have anything either, so fair enough. Let them have it. Uh, we got our 8K Vanilla. Uh, Mystery Solving Time Ithol. And your grade 3 is soon as plays. Then you get 10K. That's not too bad. Uh, still 8K grade 2s, though. Not great. This card bounces itself. That's cool. We got a 10K Vanilla. Draw trigger, and our rare is Duo Love Joker Shillam. So this is the white version, and here is our foil, another duo card, and it's the white version as well. So I'll put the comments here, rares here, foils, foil rares can go here. So pretty good, pretty good. What's really nice about this set, you get a foil in every pack. Feels like you're a winner. You know, instead of getting those commons and rares, at least you'll get something in every pack. So limit break, enabler, vanilla, stand, crit. And for our rare, we got secret smile, Pume, Pum, or something like that. And then we got Liddy. She's actually our double R. Uh... This was definitely mainly your secondary grade three ride for your Harmony deck. Put that here. The SP for Liddy, though, is also really good. Great art for that. Although, you don't want to get that because I... I mean, if you guys don't have it, then try to go for it. But I already have one, so I don't need that. Okay. We got Prism... Lady for our rare. This is the prism rare. And then for our single rare or and foil at the same time is Fluffy Ribbon Somni. Uh, unfortunately, back in the day, you had to play it because uh, if you, I believe, your G Zone eight cards, you were only allowed to have eight cards in the G Zone back in the day. So. There wasn't a lot of choices. You just play four of her and four Olivia. And that was it. That was the deck. Unless you were playing uh, Prison Labrador. Okay. Got Lady Kazuha for our rare. And it's a duo card, white version. And then we got uh, Potpourri. Uh, this card actually jumped in price. For a little bit because there is in theory a loop and turns out that loop isn't that great uh, if you were to pull it off uh, but it did cause the card to kind of spike a little bit just because people were hyped but yeah the loop was cool I did build the deck though I tried it, it wasn't that good kind of got steamrolled still Okay, another Letty, and then for our foil rare, we got a Shandy, the Stride Fodder. 
this kind of helps you stride obviously and then if you build a dedicated loris deck it's a consistency buff what a good card hopefully uh next bermuda set we'll get shandy retrained because uh, that tends to be the trend and if shandy gets retrained i would imagine loris would be in that set so loris and premium uh, standard would be great to have Uh, for our rare, we got to do a beloved child. It's a duo. This is the black version. And then we got Spica. Uh, double R. Uh, still played. Still in my deck right now as we speak. So this card has some value. Uh, it did get reprinted as a promo as well. When uh, I think it was Prismatic Divas. Uh, when that set was coming out, they reprinted this. Or was it, uh, I don't remember when that got reprinted, but it came out again as a promo because it was kind of creeping up in price. All right, so far, uh, we got a pretty average box, I would say. Nothing like super extraordinary. Uh, we got a Legion because Legion was a thing back in the day for our rare. And then we got, for our foil rare, first lesson, Akari, uh, which is definitely a great card because uh, it's your starter, Harmony, and the only cost is the you got to be in GB and be in Harmony, bounces a card. What a good card. Uh, we'll put this here. All right. see here here we got joker black and then for our foil it's a double r duo fantasia lamry it is a double r and it def help goes with reed if you watch my last video i did pull a reed so that's cool artist is k so hatsune miku right here uh, put that here. Okay, let's see here. Nemo, and we got the best card in the set, practically. Uh, Dreamer, Dreamer Crook. She is one of the best stand triggers in the game, for sure, for Bermuda. And... She deserves to be appreciated again. So Bush Road, bring this back to four. You can only play one right now. Please bring that back to four. I beg of you. That's a good card. Okay. Princess Rare. And here is our triple. So two triples in a box, looks like. We got Duo Eternal Sister Mirror, which is a limit break. And now I'm kind of realizing this set, wow, it had strides. It introduced strides for Bermuda, has limit break, and it has legion. Uh, has a little bit of everything. That's why I was saying, such a game changer. This set was really good. And then there we go. We got the rare... And then speaking of Legion, this is a rare, but it's the Legion mate. Was it a double? Oh, it was only a rare. So this is, so it's a foil rare. There we go. That's our Legion. So this can go here. This can go here. So that is our first box let's see what our second box get us uh we can still get a gr which we don't want to get you know weird to say but i uh, don't want to pull the gr because olivia as a regular for this art it's actually pretty easy to get art's still great don't get me wrong but uh it's not a hard card to get anymore so not a lot of value to be pulled at
Okay, this one's not as poofy, so maybe uh, we'll get something good. We got Lit and Liddy for our double. Okay. And then we got Pume as our foil rare. I think we pulled Loris. Yep, we did. So here's our rare. And for our triple R, we got Loris. Miracle Voice Loris. Uh, really good card. Uh, there was actually a little cheeky combo you can do with the later cards. Uh, but back in the day, uh, it's a simple harmony against 5k of this units in harmony and a crit. So it's kind of like Blade Master too. So that was kind of cool. And then you got the stride skill where you just counter boss, bounce a card, draw a card. So that was really good. But then uh, when they introduced G Guardians, so you can call cards on your opponent's battle phase. Uh, you can get her to be a 16k base when your opponent's attacking. So that was a really good play back in the day. And then Loris, I have good memories with her. Uh, you guys played uh, Vanguard at one of the uh, Bushy Road uh, tournament regionals. I think it was Grand Fest or something. They did a Bermuda Triangle tournament. I think that was the only time they did it also. And uh, uh, Prismatic Divas was... Uh, pre-release and it was legal to use as well for the tournament so <laughs> uh kind of went ham and just bought a bunch of boxes and then got built the loris deck because uh there was a new loris in that set and did really well and then here's our rare okay so no sps yet but that's okay we'll get there we got a regular Crook and Lemmy. Okay. Let's just kind of go straight here. We got uh, Sandy for our rare and Kazuha for our foil rare. Got wrappers everywhere now. Another crook, which is good to get, and Spica for our double R. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, Shandy and Mine. Me, me and Ame for our foil rare. Oh, I see a foil. Would that be something good? Let's just go straight to it. And it's Labrador. Oh. Ooh. -hoo. If you're a Labrador fan, I did it, guys. I got it. But not exactly what I wanted to see yet. Oh, if I were to... Is that an SP? Ooh, we did get an SP. It is mirror SP. It is unfortunately not the... Oh, no, my God. Oh, that's so unfortunate, but I'll take it. We got an SP, though, guys. Uh, Do Eternal Sister Mirror. Uh... So it was like the full art. Uh, the foiling is really nice though. You can you guys see that? Whew. All right. Well, you know, at this point, we got to get what we can get. I'll take it because <laughs> uh, getting SPs out of a pack is always good. Uh, just wasn't a Loris or... Olivia or anything like that. Oh, what the heck? There's a double R. If I 
Let's completely skip the rare. Oh, there you go. Okay, last pack. Let's see if we can just get home. Okay. And then there you go. Oh, look at that. In one pack. Got the Legion pair. Great. Okay, guys. I think that will wrap up the video. Let's just kind of show what I got here. Not too bad. But not that great. We still we still got an SP though. Oh, and I, you can see the the difference right there. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe and uh, uh, enjoying Vanguard one way or the other. Uh, like the video, please subscribe, uh, all that good stuff, and I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye.